In 2008, I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder after getting out of the hospital. I voluntarily went into the hospital and I went because of suicidal ideation. And when I went into the hospital, I didn't really understand what was going on. I, th I knew there was some depression involved, but it was all very new to me, a bit of a shock to get the diagnosis. So when I came out of the hospital, I came out with that diagnosis. It was 2008. I just knew that my life was a mess and I needed to try to figure out how to fix it. So I spent years on medications and attended counseling and groups and tried to minimize the stress in my life. Eventually it all came down to me deciding that I had to take control of the process because even with medication and all of the interventions I was using, I still felt very vulnerable, very out of control of my own life. And it was at a point where the people who love me, the people closest to me were saying that I should really give up trying to control this thing. Just accept the fact that I have a, a disease, go on disability, um, and live as much of a life as I could. But to be a responsible person and a responsible mother, I should really give control over to other people. I knew that I did not have to do this. I knew that there was a way for me to to live and to even thrive despite having this diagnosis. And so I was looking for something like that. And in 2014, I heard about um, this study that um, Tufts was doing, and it was with something called Bipolar in Order. And I looked at the program and saw that there were like very actionable steps and there were things that you could measure. And I, I like seeing data and seeing how you can progress and having a way to measure what I was trying to accomplish. So I decided to give that program a try. And after four weeks, I realized I really can affect this diagnosis. I can affect the way my life runs and it doesn't have to have control of me. I can actually be the one who's more in control. Everything I did, I did with the help of my doctor or my therapist. There was never a time where I was trying to stop a medication without it all being supervised. And even with all of that careful work, a lot of people around me said, this is not going to work. You really need to just keep doing what you've been told to do. So I dropped back in on the course occasionally. And so it's been three years now. And not only am I not letting other people make decisions for me, not on disability. I am I'm thriving like I knew I could. I have like my dream job. I have, you know, I take great care of my kids. I'm completely self-sufficient. And all of this is the hard work that I did with the guidance of bipolar in order. It gave me the tools to know what my goals should be how to be more aware of my own um, shortcomings where I needed to spend a little more time or work, whether it happened to be controlling um, anxiety or when to learn to be a little uncomfortable and not completely think, oh, I'm a tiny bit uncomfortable. I have to go take a medicine now. There is other alternatives for that. The program gave me a sense of optimism and it's not just because I could see progress and articulate it it was the way that um, Tom runs the sessions where a bunch of us get together and share our experiences. And it was helpful not only to learn from people who were going through the same thing and maybe a little further along in the program than I was, but also realizing that I had something to offer other people who maybe hadn't been there quite as long or weren't quite understanding some of the concepts or didn't think anything that it was possible to make progress it really helped me to realize I could share that experience with other people. And just seeing that kind of hope made me feel even more hopeful.